we could not only evoke, but conjure a place of our own, and that a place that has um, we could we could not only evoke, but conjure a place of our own, and that everywhere, and that everywhere that has ever existed, it was all in service of a dream. Now, please hear what I hear. I have no idea what they're trying to say here. And I'm paranoid now about background noise. We could not, uh, we could not, we could not only evoke, but conjure a place of our own, and that, and that, and that everywhere that has ever existed, it was all in service of her dream. Now, please hear what I hear. No idea. One it intuition. Star surge and star fall each have twenty percent. A 20% chance to make the other free. Agalea uh, would have called it one that's overconfidence. Uh, Sindria is a rogue, monk, a druid, and demon hunter one. This demonic symbiote adapted to draw power from the Trove combat, sometimes mimicking the actions of its host. Your attacks cause an additional 30% damage to enemies above 90% health, and you you for 100% of the damage done. Christ, that's awesome. The Promise of Loon, the Moon Goddess. Um, casting Lunar Strike and Lunar Rat uh, increases the healing of your next regrowth by 30%, reduces its cast time by 5%, stacks up to 20 times. When others receive life and energy from you, you too shall receive life and energy from me. Promise of Loon, the Moon Goddess. I've read that before. Impeccable Fell Essence. The the remaining cooldown on Celestial Energy is reduced by one second for every 12 Astral Power you expend. C celestial Alignment, sorry. The uh, Druids of the Cenarian Circle manipulated Fell Energy within the stone to enhance their entombment with the Wild. Which makes no sense. I don't know what the Wild has to do with Fell Energy. Jaden's Burning Wish. Um, I, think I've, I haven't read this one before, though it is a neutral one. A launch a vortex of destruction that seeks out your current target. When it reaches it, it reaches the target, it explodes, dealing a critical strike to all enemies within 10 yards for 600,000, uh, uh, 634,060 fire damage on a minute 15 cooldown. Kill Jaden the Deceiver, Supreme Commander of the Burning Legion, has a simple agenda. Consume all life and magic, simulate every race into the Legion ranks, and slay any who dare resist and destroy all creation. I said an extra and that should have been there, but I have read that before and it does look pretty badass. Wish I'd done this earlier, in all honesty. And to be honest, the whole strange pl uh, fruited plant and all that is making me concerned and all I can think of is the Crimson Fen from Wad. Uh, go look at my Sorry, background noise. Go look up my um, wild playthrough if you want to see that. Yeah, I've. You know. Sorry, I'm getting distracted now. Uh, yeah, I've gone through the Crimson Fen there. I can't say which episode, but yeah, I've ran through the Crimson Fen and uh, it, it ends up playing on. It ends up hitting a nerve that's just really unnerves me. If you don't want to go walk through the thing, right, fair enough. I'll be going through there on this character and all my alliance characters at one stage. Um, I'm my a horde character, so I don't know what the horde version's like. So, alliance characters definitely. The horde might, who knows, maybe they don't even go through it. I have no idea. But I do do it on the alliance side. Hanging from beneath the fronds of this glowing plant is a large round fruit. Uh, Daylan would, would would want to study this fruit, you are certain. But yeah, it just... Ugh. Um, the Crimson Fen just creeps the feck out of me. It's not a nice place. I know I'm ignoring some stuff, it's just I'm not really in the mood to be you know, going everywhere, gathering everything, you know? I can get extra herbs later. 
It does mean I'll miss out on a bit of cash, but I honestly don't care. Timberling Bark Ripper. This might be the one I'm meant to kill. For whatever reason, it had a gun. Okay, then. Weird. No, it's not. It Black Moss defeated. No, that's a rare. Wouldn't be it. Okay, there it seems like they're almost protecting a cave. Maybe the moss entwined heart is in there. Or maybe it drops from one of them. I can't tell. I'll deal with black moss in a moment. There's no way it drops the heart. Ooh, brilliant. We got Lunar Strike now. And I'll bring it down. It's annoying it's not automatically there, but whatever. There we go. Uh, four. Three. That really does have a long cooldown. Or oh, cast time or whatever. Moss and Twined Heart. Where the feck is it? Does it actually drop from Black Moss? That wouldn't make any sense though. You never get a quest from a rare... Okay, let's engage, I guess. And I guess we'll find out. Four, four, three, and that should kill it. Excellent. Yep, yeah, he was the one who gave it. Bizarre. The heart of Black Monster Fetid is covered with a ticky. Uh, ticky? I'm reading stuff that's not even there. Uh, the, the heart of Black Monster Fetid is covered with its dark oily moss. In fact, the only way to tell this is a heart is from its rhythmic slow beat, a beat that continues even now. P perhaps Daylan would want to see this, uh, would want to see this heart. Okay. Um, I'm not going to bring it to him over there. I'm going to bring it to him over there. Because that's uh, where the rest of the quests are. And I'll just turn them all in at the same time. Form. We'll grab these herbs. Come on, grab it. And away! <laughs> Stealth cat. Uh, soon enough, uh, I'll get uh, the ability to prowl. If I switched to this, I'll probably get it sooner, but. Uh, Level 16. Nope, same in both cases. And I know I missed some herbs there, but feck it. Just not in the mood for going off the path and... Just, like... Going and getting them right now, basically. Just want to go do what I'm doing. Um, so, yeah. Sometimes I get just get impatient and want to go and just do what I'm doing. Rather than... Getting distracted with getting all herbs and whatnot. I was willing to make, you know, go grab those, but not particularly into doing it with um, every bit, you know. I also need to get more quad. Um, I've oh, I've actually fifty bits. Hmm, not bad, but I still need more. Uh, I want to level this character up and tailoring, uh, so I'm going to need a fair bit more than just fifty, you know. I'm not sure if I'll do, deal with uh, these things too much on these characters. I might do... Well... If I was to do with, deal with that, any of those on anyone, it would probably be on Pal and I. To be perfectly honest with you. Um, I don't really care too much for those. Oh my god, is it roasting? I had to check there to make sure I didn't have my heater on. And... No, I don't. So... Why the feck is it so warm? We had a heat wave last year. 
and uh, it was a bit much for me. And it feels like we're honestly getting one of those again. How may I help? Going fruit. Cow of the rain. You look like you've um No, sorry, I thought I heard something. Cow of the rain. You look like you have something to tell me. Do you have news concerning the Timberlings? Let me read that again, because I'm distracted all the hell, so I swear I'm not reading right. Cow of the rain. You look like you have something to tell me. Do you have news both concerning the Timberlings? You found this and told her so. Intriguing. This fruit is exotic. Perhaps its seeds were brought in from afar. Perhaps even as far as Azeroth. Uh, that is a holdover from... Uh, or a mistake. Um, one second. Uh, that could be a, one of two things. They s they were meaning to say Outlands, um, or they were meaning to say Stormwind. Me. In the past, Stormwind was called Azeroth, but then Blizzard decided to make. Uh, uh, this is according to the wiki. Apparently, once upon a time, Stormwind or the ki the kingdom uh, where Stormwind Stormwind was in was called Azeroth. Apparently. I vaguely remember this being on the wiki, but then they decided to just call the world Azeroth instead. So maybe it's either like uh, to say like, oh, that mo that maybe this comes from you know the Eastern Kingdoms, or this comes from another world. I can see it going one of two ways, and the person writing it I made a mistake, either using the old name or the r the name of the wrong planet. That's the only assessment, the only guesses I have. And any flavor text? No. Of course not. Uh, and there's something about this fruit. It seems to have reacted very strangely with the soil of Teldrassil. Thank you, Calderin. Now, if you excuse me, I must study this matter further. I must study this further. Cal uh, Calderin, you have something for me? What is this? A timbering heart? It's covered with a foul moss. Thank you for bringing this to me, Calderin. I'll examine the heart and, if fortune shines, determine the nature of the moss about it. Uh, you have something for me. Where did you get this? I haven't seen a plant like this since a sojourn I made to the Swamp of Sorrows decades ago. It's amazing that a specimen made its way to Teldrassil, and it's grown to such a size. Thank you, Calderin. Forgive my shortness of words, but there is a test I would like to perform on this frond. Uh, I planting the heart. I've removed the foul, foul moss from the heart, but it still remain, but it remains tainted. Try placing it the heart of my planter. It is filled with a nutrient salt that might cleanse and heal the heart. Would, would here work? Oh, you fucker! <laughs> uh, have you been to Wellspring Lake, Caldorin? Caldorin? Have you been hunting the Timberlings there? Well done. These tumors are the symptom of the Timberlings disease. They are filled with a poison that we must cleanse from our old new land. I will dispose of these tumors. Thank you, Calderin. I figured it out. I had to rush here to find you. It's so simple, really. The corruption has been spread from Timberling to Timberling, but there is but one that is the source. Oakenskowl. He's been poisoned by the largest tumor I've ever seen. Or call it gigantic, even. Oakenskowl used to reside in a cave near my lake, but has since found his way to a nook to the northeast of here. Calderin, hunt down Oakenskowl and collect the tumor. Uh, and collect the tumor. Remove this, this, this source of corruption from my home. Oakenskowl lingers as a dire reminder of how deep Taldrassil's corruption can spread, turning a being of pure nature into a night into something of nightmare. I'll deal with that in a mo. I'll go do this, then I'll heart, then I think I'll fly over to Darnassus. Well, I'll fly over to Darnassus after I deal with that. <sighs> I should have just turned those quests in at the other guy's place. <laughs> Fix sake. I wonder if that cave I went to over there was used to be Oakenskull's place. 
will be interesting. Okay. If I was feral, I would have ferocious bite, um, break, shred, trash. Hmm. Um, basically combo moves and whatnot. Here, uh, the only moves I would have in this form are uh, Moonfire and that's it, basically. Great. Treat, treat, treat. Actually, you know what, they're not even that damaging. Don't know what I'm even nervous about. Booyah. Treat. Fuck yeah. Gargantuan Schumer. Alright. Uh Ah, oh, Hearthstone's on cooldown. Fine. Fine. Um Catform. We'll get a move on and start moseying our way back to um Dolinar. Okay. Grab a few herbs on our way. Mike. May as well. We have benefit. At least the, cat, uh, the cats here are a bit distracted by um, random critters. Ah, oh, feck. Ass. I suppose it's kind of nice not to have to worry about mana when I'm using my spells, but it is kind of weird. Also, it is actually funny I brought up Jack and Daxter earlier, considering the Night Elf's ears remind me of the ears of everyone in Jack and Daxter. They all have elven ears for some reason. Well, maybe not everyone, but most people have these huge ears. So, anyway, all to run. That is such a handy feature. Here, let's have a look at this stuff for a bit. Um, and we'll look at some classic ones. Uh, Black Fathom Deeps. Once dedicated to the Night Elves Goddess Alune, uh, Black Fathom Deeps was thought to have been destroyed during the Sundering. Lost beneath the ocean, many later, members of Twilight Hammer's cult were drawn to the temple by whispers and foul dreams. After sacrificing untold numbers of innocents, the cult was rewarded with a new task. To protect one of the old gods' most cherished creatures, a pet that is still in need in... Uh, in still in need of nourishing before he can unleash his dark powers on the world. Basically, this guy. Huh. In the original, he was a uh, Hydra. But now it's this thing. Well. It's marked as a Hydra, but looks like this. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea anymore. But yes. Um, here's the war. Akuma, an ancient evil, carries with in him a, a small measure of the old god's power. This tree-headed hydra... It, ah, it is a tree-headed hydra. You're just showing one head, though. Um, this tree-headed hydra is greatly feared by, for his mindless savagery and insatiable hunger for living flesh. But the Twilight's Hammer worships him as a divine sign of the old gods will soon return. That the old gods will soon return. Sadly, they don't do that for a couple expansions. I'm hoping, again, like I was saying in the Pandaren thing, for an old god expansion. And uh, sadly, Blizzard didn't capitalize on the Hearthstone old god one because I, I got really hyped for an old god expansion with it. And, well, the hype has kind of died away a little, uh, regrettably. Um, but, who knows, maybe we'll come back. We'll have to wait and see. This planter is filled with soil, but it's specifically prepared by Delinar. Danalar? Denalan? Okay. Alan Wake it is. That's a game I might see if I can do. Um, well, we'll see if I can do it. Um, it seems okay. It seems fun enough. You place the heart with the indica planter, and it quickly digs. It, and it quickly digs itself in. A few seconds later, it wiggles back out, cleansed. It pulses slightly. Me, beckoning, beckoning for you to take it, and you use it to summon a Timberling to protect you for 20 minutes. 